damn you guys this beautiful woman right here she was so so talented so smart so gorgeous had such a life ahead of her prayers for her family you guys her life was taken way too soon way too soon Harrisburg woman killed in California hotel room was there trying to figure life out mom says and here's her picture she's so gorgeous look at this woman it's so sad you guys DeAsia sees a central Pennsylvania native was killed in Modesto California on July 20th police have arrested a suspect in the case well that's good they found the person DeAsia sees dreamed of buying her mom a house born in York she attended school in Harrisburg and in recent years was trying to figure out how to fulfill her dreams, said her mom, Tasha Small. Small said the 22-year-old was on her way to finding her place in the world while in California, taking classes online, working on building her credit score while being a digital content creator, Go Girl, all with the mission of providing for her family back in Pennsylvania. All that potential was cut short on July 20th when Cease was found fatally shot inside a best western hotel room in modesto police have arrested 31 year old maurice franklin jr of stockton in connection with cease's death stockton is about 30 miles from modesto police did not release a motive or say how franklin may have known cease cease's brother told a california television station that he had never seen franklin before we were really hoping to hear from the detectives if there was a motive, if he knew her for how long, if it was a random act, if he was trying to commit other crimes against her, Marquis Stewart of Ohio told ABC 10. Like, we don't know. We don't know. So we're just hoping to get those answers. Cease's mother told her daughter, said her daughter was a struggling young woman trying to figure life out and fulfill some of her biggest dreams. One of those dreams was regaining custody of her four-year-old daughter who has been living with a grandparent. Small acknowledged that Cease went through some difficult times and was working hard to overcome them. Damn. Since 2019, she said Cease had been traveling around the country as she visited new places and branched out from her Pennsylvania upbringing. It was hard, always worrying about her being in different places, Small said, being so far away from her family. Over the last two years, Cease started building her following on social media, focusing on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. She would apply makeup, show different outfits, or make live recordings, doing everything from eating crab legs to drinking a cocktail. She also loved to sing. Small said she enjoyed watching Cease sing because she knew it was what she loved, whether it was Alicia Keys, her, Summer Walker, yeah. Cease loves singing her favorite R&B artist. That's sad, man. That is sad. She would say, Mom, I love this song. Talking about good days. Which Small said is embedded in her mind. Damn. That was just her spirit. Since Cease's death, there has been an outpouring of love online. And when people gathered for a balloon release in Cease's memory last weekend... It really touched my heart a lot because I wanted to see that she did have lots of people that loved her, Small said. She knew C struggled with feeling like she was always alone. It wasn't true, Small said. It just breaks my heart seeing these people all around her that are heartbroken. She's not here to see it. Yeah, but she is there to see it in spirit. She's up above watching it, I'm, sh I'm telling you. Small says it doesn't make sense that after all her daughter went through, this is how her life ended. A young artist who had her life snatched away from her. News of an arrest in the case lifted a weight off of Small, she said, but she's still angry and knows the arrest won't bring C's back. I know that justice will be served and she can rest peacefully knowing that her killer is not on the streets, Small said. Small said she misses the almost daily conversations she shared with her daughter when C's would crack jokes and break into song. C's loved her nine siblings and her daughter, Small said. In recent years, Cease began voicing her appreciation and love for her mother, which brought up the dream of buying her a home. My world will never be the same again, Small said. I feel so empty and incomplete now. Small is grateful that there have already been a lot of people showing their support for Cease through a Facebook fundraising campaign. As of Wednesday, Cease's body was on her way home to York, where the family plans to lay her to rest. 
Damn. What would make you want to shoot her? Family reeling after killing of Deja Cisa Modesto. Here's her and her daughter. Her family, nearly 2,700 miles away in Pennsylvania, is trying to bring her back home to be buried with her father. A Pennsylvania family is desperately trying to bring their loved one home after she was shot and killed. The Asia Cease was found dead at a Best Western Hotel on July 20th. She was 22 years old. Her alleged killer was ultimately caught and booked into jail on a homicide charge. Cease's brother, Marquis Stewart, was across the country in Ohio, ready to go to sleep before he got the call about his sister's death around 1 a.m. Damn. I just started bawling, man. I couldn't believe it, Stewart said. He said their tight-knit family has been struggling ever since the news came in, devastating their mother as she tries to handle funeral arrangements in Pennsylvania. Stewart said the weight of that news still hits him every single day. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure. I can't lay down without shedding a tear before I go to sleep. I cry myself to sleep every night because I miss hearing that voice, he said. Stewart said his daughter was the life of the party. Beautiful inside and out with a gift for writing, singing, and composing. When she comes to the room, she definitely grabbed your attention, you know, just because she's just so beautiful. And then her daughter, I mean, and then her personality as well was just so beautiful, which was like rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and skittles, he said. His last memory of Cease was a surprise visit she made to Ohio last year, where she got to see her nephews for the first time. While distance kept the siblings apart physically, he said they would both talk regularly. Since her death last week, he said this is the longest he's gone without hearing her voice. That woman right there, that was the person who I could go to to talk about anything, and I was always happy to have my sister, Stewart said. While Cease was born and raised in PA, Pennsylvania, she was known to travel. He wasn't surprised to hear that she was in Modesto. She was just coming from Miami before that, like she's been everywhere. She went to New York, Baltimore, and the West Coast, Stewart said. However, he still has questions. <clears throat> Maurice Franklin Jr., 31, of Stockton, was the suspect arrested in the homicide, but Stewart said he's never seen him before. We were really hoping to hear from the detectives if there was a motive. Like, we don't know, we don't know. I'm just sick of these guns, and I feel like she's just so little and so fragile. What would warrant you wanting to shoot her? What would make you want to shoot her, like my little sister? The answers elude the family for now, but they continue to hope that justice will be done. Nothing is going to satisfy me unless that man rots in prison. They can't give him a number. I don't care if it's 200 years. That's not enough for me, Stewart said. Tasha Small, Cease's mother, told ABC10 that her daughter had been striving to better herself for her four-year-old daughter. She was taking online college classes and working, and working to build her credit score because she wanted to buy a house for her family someday. She loved her siblings and family wholeheartedly and would give her shirt off her back for anyone. One of the family's biggest priorities now is bringing C's back home to Pennsylvania to be buried with her father. Basically, we need about $3,000 to get her body from Modesto, California to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, so she gets a proper burial with her family. Stewart said, noting that the cost is just for transportation alone. For anyone interested in helping the family cover the cost for transport and the funeral, they have a fundraiser available here. Let's see how much they raise, you guys. Okay, so 4200 raised to 5000 They said, originally they said they needed only 3000 to get her to Harrisburg from California. So, they got that 3000 and they're almost at their 5000 goal. Awesome, you guys. Um, wow. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to post the donate link um, in the description if you guys want to donate. Um... They have hit their $3,000 goal for transportation of bringing her body back home to Pennsylvania. Um, and they're almost at their $5,000 goal. So, um, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad people came together to help this family. 
that really really makes me happy I know I know this girl she went through well I don't know her personally it didn't sound right when I said it but I know this girl from reading about it has went through some really tough things some really tough struggles in her life she's been trying to overcome and do better and she was on the right track it sounds like to me you know as far as taking classes and um she was traveling trying to better her credit score and she was in California we all know California is where you can make it big and get somebody to recognize you of course um whoever that guy is that did this I mean I really have no words because when any homicide like this happens, um, I just don't feel like there's any reason to justify taking someone's life. Um, and the poor, the poor family, you know, feeling like they're not going to have justice, even though he is arrested because he's still alive and they can't get their family member back. They can't get their sister or their daughter back. You know, it's heartbreaking. And Um, speaking from experience, like with my brother and when he passed, um, whatever happened to the guy who was at fault for his death, it didn't matter to me because my brother was gone. And so I can feel that pain. That pain is, uh, it's hard. It really is hard because even though time can make it a little better, it can never, never reverse it, you know, and It'll always still be there. It'll always still hurt. But as time goes on, it'll get just a little easier as time goes on. And then eventually you can remember the good memories. Um, you, you might remember something about them. And, you know, you might laugh. Something that happened that was funny or something that you treasured. But, I mean, it's that pain like of losing them will never go away especially you know when they die so soon and they had so much more ahead of them um it'll always always be there with you so definitely pray for this family thank you guys so much for listening Uh if you like to donate to this family the link will be in the description um Pray for this family. This family needs the strength, the will, encouragement, warmth, and love. Stay true. Stay blessed. Stay you. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Stay loved. Stay you. Stay true. And peace out.